The reason I'm doing this video is because um, I need accountability because I've gained a ton of weight since I've started college. I started college uh, when I was in my mid-40s and now I'm 50. And um, one time I used to be really freaking awesome. You know, I was, uh, you know, Army Special Forces and just you know, great physical shape, and I'd spend six to eight hours a day in meditation and practicing Tai Chi about the same amount, just just a fanatic on fitness and everything else, and uh, it just all went to heck when uh, I started college, and a little bit before that too. I kind of gave up on the whole spiritual quest when I turned 40, like midlife crisis obviously, which is pretty much what this is all thing about, pick, pick, pick it up yourself after your midlife crisis. It um, hits hard. And, uh, you know, you uh, got to pick yourself up afterward, and that's what I'm trying to do. So hopefully this is going to be a good before and after type of video. Um, also, I want to help other people, you know, with their midlife crisis, because everybody, a lot of people, a lot of guys, um, they hit 40, and they had a great you know, 20s and 30s, you know, they probably in the Army or Marines or something, and they were awesome guys back then. And then, you know, life hits you hard, and... You have a lot of fun, and by the time you hit 40, uh, you know, I, I, you know, it's not just a midlife crisis. I think it's a, a new way to make a, a fresh start with life. I mean, you, you, it really makes you look back on your life, what worked, what didn't. And um, one of the things I really loved was fitness. And um, another thing I loved was meditation. And when I turned 40, I kind of gave it all up, and I um, just had fun. And uh, I didn't do well, you know. Living on a diet of potato chips and ice creams, not that healthy. So... Now I'm all about uh, research, and I've researched keto, uh, and I've researched the whole vegan thing, and apparently if you go keto, you're going to have a heart attack and die from hardening of the arteries, and if you go vegan, then you're going to have malnutrition, and you're going to die of that, so I have no idea what to do. Honestly, it's, it's clueless. i got a keto fridge and a vegan fridge all set up, and I have no idea what to eat. So, um... Hoping to make this vlog and get awesome again, and I'll start vlogging every morning. Um, hopefully, uh, lose a little weight. Hopefully, lose a lot of weight. You know, I started college in 2012, and I gained about 80 pounds. That was 2012. Yeah, 2012. Also, in 2012, um, I was probably the fittest I'd been in a long time too, because I was running, and I uh, did not even an ultra marathon. I did a 50 mile race and. Um, 11 hours, 27 minutes, which is a pretty good time. I, I think I weighed about 180, 185 then. Now I'm 250. It sucks. So hopefully I'm going to start running again. And um, obviously I probably said hopefully a lot in this because I've never been able to do accountability. I joined Nerd Fitness, which is a great, great resource. But the problem with that is every time I'd make a, um, a, a thing for accountability, you, know, you, you make your challenge, I'd never follow it. When, when I didn't make a thing, you know, accountability thing, I'd follow it. So I'm not really sure how that works. So I'm hoping that this is a different format and, you know, I have total control over this and, you know, maybe it'll work better. We'll see. And, um, hopefully, uh, probably a lot of people aren't going to like and subscribe, but hey, if you want to follow my journey, like and, and um, subscribe, and I will promise to keep you updated, and I won't, you know, delete this channel in embarrassment, because um, right now I feel like a massive loser, and of course, when I was younger, I was a massive winner, so I'm not really sure what happened, but we're going to fix it. Thanks a lot. Remember, like and subscribe. Talk to you later.